Okay, so let's talk about games or what are often called ROMs in emulation. RetroPie uses a, a program called Emulation Station to play your games. You really don't need to know that because it's built into RetroPie. As I mentioned earlier, you can really configure a lot in RetroPie and really get into the hardware and do some really crazy things. But for beginners here, just realize that RetroPie is really a series of uh, programs put together to make an overall retro console. And so we're using something called Emulation Station. Um, and, and again, Emulation Station or RetroPie calls your games ROMs. So when you're looking online, that's what you're really looking for, that word R-O-M-S, ROMs. Um, so we, for what we need to do first is we need to make it easy to transfer our ROMs, and I'm going to use a Windows 10 computer. If you're on a Mac, it'll it'll work a little different, but I'm just going to assume that you're on a Windows 10 computer um, because this is how we're going to get our games downloaded from the Internet or our ROMs um, onto our Windows 10 computer, and then we're going to connect our Windows 10 computer in our Raspberry Pi to our same network, and that way we can transfer our games over the network that way. There are other ways to do that. this. You can actually install ROMs onto a USB drive and plug that into your um, Raspberry Pi, and so I'll leave some links in the descriptions that show you some alternative ways of adding ROMs to your game or to your RetroPie Raspberry Pi, but we're going to do the network way just because I think this is the most sustainable long term. But do realize there are other ways and there are other tutorials out there that'll show you how. Um, so let's talk about finding ROMs. Here's the big thing that I want to emphasize it is illegal to download games or ROMs from the internet that you do not own. In other words, you must have the game cartridge from the old game systems. So if you want to play RC Pro-Am from a Nintendo, you have to own the cartridge. And even technically then, the law is a little iffy, but the law does say that if you own the ca cartridge, you're, you're allowed to make a backup digital copy of your game. The problem is that you can go on the internet and you can find hundreds, if not thousands, of ROMs to download. And unless you own every single one of those cartridges for every single game, technically you're breaking the law. So I'm not going to show you how to get illegal ROMs. I will tell you it is not hard to find ROMs for games that you do not own. I'll just leave it at that. I'm going to show you some ROMs that you can use that are open source or the authors or the developers have made the game free to download. And so they've given you the, the license to be able to do that. Um, there's things called ROM hacks, which is a little more uh, gray area, whether it's legal or not. And I'm going to show you those as well. But if you want to play Mario Brothers on your RetroPie, Super Mario Brothers, you have to own the cartridge if you want to legally play it. Um, so we're just going to leave it at that. But there are, like I said, a lot of homebrew, open source, or ROM hacks that you can uh, play on your RetroPie to get started. And then I'll leave it up to you on your comfort level of finding other ROMs. But it's not hard to find those ROMs online. I'll just say that. Okay. So we're that's what we're going to look at next. We're going to figure out how to get the ROMs from the Internet. We're going to download them on our Windows 10 computer. And then we're going to transfer them from Windows 10 to our Raspberry Pi. So that's what we'll look at next.